Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for being with us for this extended live coverage. Obviously, we have team coverage all across the state and also out there. Tons of law enforcement personnel. When storms like this happen, they are out and about trying to make sure all of us stay safe. And the big message I think from them this afternoon is really stay home. And joining us on the phone is Trooper First Class Tanya Campagnoni uh, with the Connecticut State Police. Trooper, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Well, thank you. I guess let's start first of all with how are things shaping up right now? And are there any particular problem spots? Uh, no real uh, big problem areas. I mean, everybody across the state is pretty much seeing uh, snow related incidents. Uh, certainly from New Haven down to Fairfield County, they've been seeing quite a few snow related accidents throughout the day. Hartford's not much better. I'd say the southeast corner of the state, uh, comparatively speaking, is, is reporting lesser crash, lesser amounts of crashes. Trooper, one thing I noticed, I wasn't out driving for long today, but a number of cars were fishtailing when they were stopping. And I think people get this idea that, oh, I have four wheel drive yeah. or I have a truck and I'm able to drive, you know, still quick in these conditions. What's your message to folks who do have to head out on the roads tonight? Exactly. I was actually going to make that point. Uh, watch your speeds. Ensure that you have enough stopping distance between you and the car in front of you uh, if you need to stop quickly. You may think that you're going slow because you're going a little bit below the speed limit, the posted speed limit, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going slow enough to avoid a crash or a spin out if you have to brake quickly. So keep a distance between you and the car in front of you. Uh, certainly give the plows a lot of room. And uh, again, I can't say it enough. Uh, just watch your speed. I was going to say that giving the, the plows room, I think that's really an important message. Mm -hmm. Even on my way to work today, you see folks, you know, traveling very closely behind trucks and it's just not a good idea, right? Absolutely. Uh, you, they recommend keeping at least a 300 foot um, or 300 feet of space between you and the, uh, the plows that are out there. All right. And lastly, Trooper, one question. We've mentioned this before, but if you do find yourself in a situation where you're on the side of the road, is it best to stay in your vehicle? Stay in your vehicle. You know, we don't recommend, obviously, um, using your cell phone while you're driving, but certainly have that cell phone in your car uh, charged and ready to go. So if you do find yourself on the side of the road, put your lights, make sure your lights are on, put your hazards on, stay in the car and, you know, make that 911 call because it is an emergency. All right. Some good advice right there. Trooper Tanya Campagnoni, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon.